Now let's talk about XML's history just a second. If you go, I'm going to notice the W3C site and if you go to slash XML slash HIST 2002, you'll get a history of XML. Now notice there's quite a bit here. And if I pull down to the bottom, you'll notice that the XML, the first initial XML draft came out in November of 1996, which means XML is about 10 years old. Now when it first came out, we heard that it was going to change the way we eat, sleep, think, drive our cars, and use our computers. Now we've heard that before about other technologies. As it turns out, XML could well do that because XML has opened the door for computer systems to interchange data very easily. Now as you notice, as you look through this history document, and I would suggest that you go through and read some of these and take a look at them. Now there's, you know, admittedly some of this stuff, the best use for it is those nights when you're having trouble falling asleep. Pull one of these up, start reading it, and it'll take care of the problem. But what you will see here is when XML first came out, it was XML, small world. Then the universe began to expand, and it is really expanding now as it continues to solve more problems, take care of more issues, and you notice here the W3C has done a really good job of documenting and keeping up with what's happened with XML and you can see the various things that happened with it down through the years. And so far they're going all the way through January 2001. Now as you look through this, this is a great way to get some background on XML and if you really want to understand everything that's happening with XML, read through this stuff. You will see what's going on with it. So I just wanted to point you to this. This is not something you necessarily need to use XML, but to really get deep with XML you need to know some of the discussions, suggestions and so forth that's come through the developmental history of XML and you can find that out on that W3C site.